Hey guys, I'm Nate the Intern, and welcome back to Build by Design. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the visualization tools in Autodesk Inventor. So one of the things that you, you see a lot in Autodesk Inventor models is that people don't set the materials they're using onto the model. So you'll see models that look very gray and bland. This not only is unattractive, but it also doesn't help to convey what the model will look like as well as what it will be made out of. In this tutorial series, we're gonna show you how to apply those visualization tools to better convey your ideas. So let's get started. As you can see, our robot looks really nice with all these visualization tools applied. But if we zoom in here, we can see that the super shifters still need to have those tools applied. So we're actually gonna spend our time in this video looking at those. So let's go to those. And now that I have these open, I can see that the super shifter needs that signature black rim. So I'm gonna go to the left, browse in the parts library, and I'm gonna look through the, on the browser, find that part, go to as material, set black. So now you can see that it looks right, and now it looks a lot more authentic. Just with that one simple tweak, everything looks a lot more real. Now, these sim motors also are just dumb solids. We need to go in and fix those, so we're open those up. Now let's go in and click properties. Now that I have that, I'm gonna say as material in, in the properties and set them as an aluminum component. This is gonna make it so that they weigh the proper amount uh, and that they're actually gonna behave as a whole in that way. I need to set them so they look like that. So we'll say aluminum as material finished. Lastly, the center band on a sim motor needs to be black. So I'm gonna go down on the face, click properties and select black, hit okay. So now that sim looks very accurate. But let's say I wanted to go one step further. Sims have a decal on them. So I'm gonna go get a plane tool, make it tangent to a surface. And I'm now gonna apply this plane onto the side of this sim motor. This is gonna allow me to create a decal that I can then apply to the motor. So now I'll start a sketch on that plane and I'll insert an image. This image I'm just gonna import just browse to it in my on my computer, find it. Okay, there it is. This now that I have that sim label, I'm gonna acknowledge that's not in the correct project folder for right now. And I then can use the dot on the side to shrink it down. I also can treat this like a sketch component. So I can come in and apply some vertical constraints, grab a horizontal constraint, and I can even use another horizontal constraint to make it flush. I can then use a dimension tool, give it the appropriate size. Now that that's done, I can actually go in and find a way to actually remove all that black. So yes, you can notice the two blacks don't actually match up. So I'm gonna go in and select the mask tool. So click transparency, use mask, hit okay. And that's actually going to remove that black coloring so just the white lettering is printed onto the motor. Now that that's done, I can finish sketch using my marking menu, click decal, select the sketch, and select the face, select map to face, and hit OK. As you can see now, the sim motor has a lo logo on it, and this looks incredibly realistic for our first model. All right, so I'll close that. As you can see, they both imported and saved there. That's what we're looking for in these models, is to create things that look like they would in the real thing. Now, there's also many visual styles in Autodesk Inventor. So let's look at what the shaded view would look like, what, and then shaded with edges, shaded with hidden edges here you can see. You know, these are all different views that all have different purposes. You can do wireframe. This shows you a lot of the componentry that you're seeing. You can do a wireframe with only visible edges. You can go in and turn to You can do a monochrome image to see what this picture would look like if it was printed in black and white. Now, because I only have black and white components, it looks pretty much the same. 
you can do a watercolor image. These are, you know, not necessarily the most useful for modeling, but maybe for the visual style you're using, they're very pertinent. You can do a drawn image. This is gonna allow you to create a drawing. Um, these can be great for use in websites and stuff as background imagery. Lastly, we'll go back to our shaded with edges style and then to realistic. Realistic is gonna enable something called ray tracing, which is gonna allow you to create high quality shadowed models of pictures of your models. Now that that's done, you can see this is about as real a render as we're gonna get, and I'm pretty happy with it. All right, so those are our visualization tools in Autodesk Inventor. As you can see, you can do a lot to create realistic models. You can go even so far as to applying the decals like I just showed you. Until next time, I'm Nate the Intern, and this is Built by Design. Good luck out there.